Ever wondered how a tiny solar cell can harness the immense power of the sun? Let's take a moment to marvel at this remarkable feat of science. Solar power, in essence, is energy from the sun. It's a form of renewable energy, meaning it doesn't deplete natural resources or harm the environment. It's like a gift that keeps on giving, clean and sustainable, making it an ideal energy source for our planet. So, how does this process work? It all starts with a photon. Photons are tiny particles of light, and they're constantly being emitted by the sun. Imagine these photons as tiny bundles of energy, traveling through space at the speed of light. They make the epic eight-minute journey from the sun to our planet, bringing with them the energy that sustains life on Earth. Now, let's talk about how we capture this energy. When these photons reach the Earth, they don't just disappear, they interact with everything they touch. And some of this energy can be captured. It's like catching a falling star. But instead of a star, it's a photon. And instead of a net, we use solar cells. Solar cells, you see, are designed to capture this energy. They're made of materials like silicon, which have special properties that allow them to absorb photons and convert their energy into electricity. It's a process known as the photovoltaic effect, and it's the cornerstone of solar technology. This seemingly simple interaction between light and matter is actually a complex dance of physics that allows us to tap into an almost infinite source of energy. We found a way to capture the essence of sunlight and convert it into a form that can power our homes, our vehicles, and even our cities. Solar cells, also known as photovoltaic cells, are the magic devices that convert this solar energy into electricity. These tiny devices are at the heart of our quest for sustainable energy, a testament to our ingenuity and a beacon of hope for a cleaner, greener future. So how does a solar cell convert sunlight into electricity? It's not magic, but science. At the heart of a solar cell is a semiconductor, usually silicon, which is the second most abundant element on Earth. Semiconductors are unique in that their electrical properties can be altered to suit specific needs. For solar cells, the silicon is doped with impurities to create a positive-negative junction, or a PN junction. This is crucial for the conversion of sunlight into electricity. When sunlight, or more specifically, a photon from the sun, hits the solar cell, it can give its energy to an electron in the silicon. This extra energy allows the electron to overcome the bond holding it in place and move freely. Now, where does this free electron go? This is where that PN junction comes in handy. The junction creates an electric field across the silicon. This field acts like a slope that the electron rolls down. This movement of electrons from one side to the other is what we call electricity. But it's not as simple as that. Not all photons have the right amount of energy to free an electron. Some have too little and simply pass through, while others have too much and the extra energy is lost as heat. This is one of the reasons why solar cells are not 100% efficient. Furthermore, the free electrons need to be captured before they recombine with the atoms they were knocked out from. This is achieved by attaching thin metal contacts to the top and bottom of the solar cell, which act like a wire, providing a path for the electrons to flow, creating an electric current. So, in essence, a solar cell is a sandwich. A sandwich made up of two slices of semiconductor with a filling of electric field. It's a marvelous feat of science that allows us to harness the power of the sun and convert it into usable electricity. In essence, a solar cell is a sandwich made up of two slices of semiconductor with a filling of electric field. But how much of the sun's energy can a solar cell convert into electricity? The efficiency of a solar cell is a measure of how much sunlight it can convert into usable electricity. This is influenced by a variety of factors, including the wavelength of light, the angle of the sun, and the temperature of the cell itself. Let's delve deeper into these factors. Firstly, let's talk about the wavelength of light. Solar cells are designed to absorb photons from the sun, which then excite electrons and create an electric current. However, not all photons are created equal. Shorter 
wavelength photons, such as those in the ultraviolet range, carry more energy than longer wavelength photons, such as those in the infrared range. This means that a solar cell will generate more electricity when it absorbs more shorter wavelength photons. Secondly, the angle of the sun plays a significant role in solar cell efficiency. The closer the sun is to being directly overhead, the more sunlight a solar cell can absorb. This is why solar panels are often tilted towards the sun and why solar power is more efficient in regions closer to the equator. Lastly, let's talk about temperature. While it might seem counterintuitive, solar cells actually become less efficient as they heat up. This is because as the temperature of a solar cell increases, the electrical resistance within the cell also increases, leading to a decrease in overall efficiency. So, how efficient are current commercial solar cells? On average, they hover around 15 to 20% efficiency. This means that for every 100 units of sunlight that hit a solar cell, 15 to 20 units are converted into electricity. While the efficiency of solar cells might not seem high, remember that the sunlight they use is free and abundant. This makes solar power a viable and sustainable option for the future of energy production, despite the current limitations in cell efficiency. With ongoing research and advancements, we can expect this efficiency to continue to rise, making solar power an even brighter prospect for our energy needs. What does the future hold for solar power? A question on many minds, and today we're going to explore just that. Solar power, once a fringe concept, is now at the forefront of energy discussions. Yet there's so much more to come. The future of solar power is teeming with possibilities driven by continuous research and development into materials and designs that could take solar cells' efficiency to new heights. Innovative materials like perovskites are showing promise. These materials are not only cheaper to produce than traditional silicon, but they also have the potential to convert sunlight into electricity more efficiently. Imagine a world where the solar panels on your roof are not only cost-effective, but also incredibly efficient. That's the future we're looking at. Moreover, the design of solar cells is also evolving. From the flat, rigid structures we're used to seeing, we're moving towards flexible, thin-film solar cells. These can be integrated into everyday objects, from the windows of our homes to the screens of our electronic devices, harnessing the sun's power in ways we never thought possible. The potential of these developments is immense. But what does it mean in practical terms? Well, it means that solar power could become a major source of electricity in the future. Instead of relying on fossil fuels, which are not only finite, but also harmful to our environment, we could be drawing a significant portion of our energy from the sun. It's about more than just electricity. This shift could help us reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and fight climate change. It could bring electricity to remote areas of the world, improving lives and opening up opportunities. Looking ahead, the landscape of energy production may change dramatically. Solar power, once the underdog, could become a key player in our energy mix. It's an exciting prospect and it's closer than you might think. So, as we look to the future, remember this. Solar power isn't just about harnessing the sun's energy. It's about reimagining our world, reshaping our energy systems and creating a sustainable future for us all. With continuous research and development, the sun's power might light up our homes more than we ever thought possible. So, solar cells take the sun's energy and turn it into electricity. But what does this mean for us? Well, let's take a moment to ponder over what we've learned so far. We started our journey with the power of the sun and how its boundless energy has been the driving force of life on Earth for billions of years. We then dived into the fascinating world of solar cells, those clever little devices that capture sunlight and transform it into electricity. We discovered that a solar cell's magic lies in its inner workings, in the complex dance of photons and electrons. We learned that when a photon of sunlight hits a solar cell, it can knock loose an electron, creating an electric current. And that's where the magic happens, turning sunlight into electricity 
But we also learned that not all solar cells are created equal. Efficiency is a key factor. Some solar cells are more efficient than others, and the efficiency of a solar cell is determined by how well it can convert sunlight into electricity. And of course, we can't forget about the future of solar power. With advances in technology and an increased understanding of solar cell physics, we're on the brink of a solar revolution. The future is bright and it's powered by the sun. So what does this all mean for us? It means that solar power, a renewable and clean source of energy, is more accessible than ever. By understanding the physics of solar cells, we can make better use of this abundant resource, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and making our planet a healthier place to live. The power of the sun is in our hands, and with solar cells, we can harness it to light up our world. If you enjoyed this journey into the physics of solar cells, remember to like and subscribe for more science insights on our channel.